In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do text line reveal like this in Adobe After Effects. In this new monthly series of videos called Learn How To, uh, this is episode one, I'm gonna show you how to do things, useful things in Adobe After Effects, Adobe Premiere, Photoshop and Lightroom. So in this first episode, I'm gonna explain how to simply do text reveal animations in After Effects. So without stalling and making this video any longer than it has to be, let's go right in into After Effects. Okay, let's start from creating new composition. So go to new composition and give it a name, text animation. The composition can be any size and any length. I'm using standard HD, full HD, 1920 to 1080 pixels, 24 frames per second and five seconds in length and a background color black. Now this background color is only a preview. Actually, this is a transparent, it's only black so we can actually see what we are working on. And firstly, we're gonna create the line to go in the middle of our animation. So to do that, I'm gonna go to layer, new and shape layer. And now I'm gonna change the fill to zero, to nothing. I'm gonna make sure the stroke is uh, solid now and is white color. You can click actually on the fill and stroke words to select what kind of a uh, type it is and obviously on the color box to change the color. And I'm gonna keep the thickness of my stroke at six pixels thick. And to draw the line, I'm gonna select the pen tool. I'm gonna click anywhere on my composition, on the left side of my composition and hold the shift key to draw the other end of the line. And by holding shift key, it makes sure it's actually perfectly straight and it is six pixels thick. And now to actually uh, make sure it's in the middle, I'm gonna go to a line panel here on the, on the right side and make sure it's horizontally and vertically perfectly in the middle. And that's our line uh, done. Now let's add our two layers of text. To do so, you have to click on a text tool, click anywhere in composition and type. First one we're gonna call um, After Effects and we're gonna make it white and style it a little bit better than this. Make it a bit bigger. Also, quickly, I'm gonna go to layer and uh, transform and center anchor point in layer content to make sure the, con the center of the layer is in the, the middle. And a second layer of text, the same as before. Text. This one, we're gonna make it gray a little bit smaller. So let's animate all this now. Let's start from the line. The line I want to appear in the middle and stretch out to its full length. So we want to change the scale from 0% to 100% on the width. So to do so, we're gonna arrange this first um, in the right order. So put the line on top and then the animation, the text layers in, there in the right order. So firstly, the line, I want to scale it. So S on the keyboard, enable scale controls only. You can also go to the arrow on the side and reveal all transform controls, but uh, S reveals only scale. So by default, it's usually locked, they're both width and height. So we need to unlock them to be able to change width independently from the height. And I'm gonna create two keyframes, the point A and point B of the animation. So one at the beginning and one slightly in, about a second in. And go back to the first one and change the width to 0%. And that creates simply animation like this. Now, just to make it a bit nicer at the end, I'm gonna right click it and select keyframe assistant and easy ease in. What it does, it slows down the animation towards the, the end, like so. Okay, let's animate the text. I want a text to come out from the line to the top and bottom. So it has to come from invisible point. And to do so, to create that invisible point from, from, which, from which text is coming from, I need to create a color mat, white luma color mat. So first you're gonna select the top text and then go to layer, new, solid, and create a composition size solid, like so. Then I'm gonna move this to be right above the line. So the text is gonna come up from the edge of this white solid. 
If you don't see modes and track map columns, right click just above the layers, go to columns and select modes to enable track map controls. And I'm gonna select the text layer again and select Luma Matte White Solid 1. That makes the white solid disappear, it switches it off, but also enables the text to disappear from the edge of the white, invisible now, solid. Okay, so we do the same with the second text layer. Layer, new, solid, white, composition size. Move it down right underneath the line. It has to be, this white solid has to be right above the, uh, the layer of text you want to animate from that point, from the invisible point, and select Luma Matte White Solid 2. Okay, let's animate this now. I want a text to start coming out from the line when line finishes animating, so exactly where the keyframe is there, and I want to change the position of these layers. So select the top one first, and keyboard P, that enables the position controls only on both layers, and then create new keyframes. Point A of animation and point B. So point A is coming from, from invisible point and going to the present state as it is now. So the first one, I'm gonna change the position of the text to be behind the line, and that comes out like this. And I'm gonna create two keyframes in exactly the uh, same places on the other text layer. Like this. And I'm gonna change the position of the bottom text to be on top here. And they both animate out like that. I'm gonna also right click the second, that's the final point of animation and change to easy ease in on both of those. You can also enhance this faster and slow down, slow at the end animation by selecting the last keyframe and going to graph editor here. And that's your animation path and I'm gonna just enhance this like this to go really, really fast and then slow down gradually to, to final stop. I'm gonna do that to both of these uh, final keyframes here, like that. This is what it looks like. Nice. And now I'm gonna quickly do the same at the end of this uh, animation to hide the text again uh, to complete our project. Right at the end, I want to also hide the line again. So I'm gonna change the scale of it from 100% again to 0% width here. And change the easing at the end to easy ease in. And that's what our full animation looks like. To use this in your video project, there are different options. If you are using Adobe Premiere, you can save this as After Effects uh, project and import this as any other file to Premiere. And Premiere will ask you which composition from the project you want to open. You select, the, in this case, text animations on the one composition there. And that will be with a transparent background, easy to use in Premiere. You'll be able to also change the text within the Premiere to whatever else text you would like to uh, put in this animation. If you want to use this as a standalone in Final Cut Pro or a DaVinci Resolve, you will have to export this into file. And there's two different options. One, you will have have to add solid background so you can add layer new solid and choose any color uh, of the solid maybe something like this blue and position that underneath of all the layers and that gives you the solid background for for this video and basically render it to standalone QuickTime file. Alternatively, you can actually export this to transparent background alpha channel, which would be usable in different uh, editing software than uh, Premiere, Premiere as well, of course. Uh, so if you go to File, Export, and um, Add to Render Queue, leave the render settings as best settings, that's okay. And uh, go to Output Module where it says Lossless and change to RGB to RGB plus alpha the format option you can leave it at animation that's the best format for it okay this and uh, if you're not putting any sound into this after effects animation you can switch the audio output off okay this and render it to file and that's how simple it is and this is it from me i hope you have enjoyed this little tutorial if you did please give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content cameras lenses tutorials reviews please consider subscribing and thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. 
In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do text reveal. <laughs> this is not it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to do line text reveal in like this. Boom, like this now. In this video, I'm gonna show in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do text line reveal like this in Adobe After Effects. <laughs> 